Today we're going to discuss how to create a Carlson geoid file to be used in Carlson Serve CE. To do this you need to have the Carlson export software loaded on your computer. So we go to Carlson www.carlsonsw.com and then we go to the downloads on the right hand side we select Carlson Serve CE from the options. And we download the number one option, Carlson Export. Once Export is downloaded, and install on it. We then open from our Carlson software area, Carlson Export. And using the registration code, that you were given when you purchase Serve CE, you go ahead and register the software. Once the software is registered and opened, you can simply go to your tools area, go to Geoid Manager, and you're going to tell it what Geoid you want to process. The most common one today is Geoid 12A, but you'll notice that you have Geoid 9, 6, 3, and 99, and all other Geoid models available to you. From here what you need to do is enter a latitude and a longitude of the area you want to create a geoid model for. To do this, I simply go to Google Maps I enter in the city that I want to use in this case we'll use Hartford, Connecticut Once it's located it, we can right click in the area of interest, in this case again Hartford, Connecticut, and say what's here. When we do that, it gives us the latitude and longitude of Hartford, Connecticut. So I'm simply going to take that latitude and longitude, 4176.41.76. Four two seven nine and a longitude of seventy two sixty seven thirty nine oh seven and then tell it that I want a hundred and twenty mile radius from there. Notice that in Google Earth it showed a negative next to that, negative 72. That's because Google Earth assumes you're in east. Because we're in west though, I just click the west instead and I don't have to put the negative symbol in there. The maximum geoid size Carlson recommends is 121 miles. So that's what we're going to do is 120 mile radius. Once I say OK, it then asks me where I want to save my geoid model. So I pick a place on my computer where I want to save that. And I have a folder set up for geoids. This will be Connecticut. I tell it the city I want to do and 120 mile radius from that and tell it to save it. It creates that geoid model and now I have a geoid model created that I can use in Carlson Serve CE. So let's go and look at that. And there we go, 120 mile radius of Hartford geoid model. So now if I go ahead and I open up my Carlson Serve CE, or in this case Serve PC, and I continue or select a new job, what I need to do is hook up my data collector to my computer and through Active Sync or Windows Mobile transfer the file to the data collector. I can then go to the Equipment tab, Localization, go to GPS and I can go to geoid file and I can then import the geoid that I have created. Once that geoid model is created, um, when I go to my monitor sky plot area, I will be able to tell under the position tab whether or not my, my 
geoid model is being applied. In this case, I'm outside of the Hartford area, so you'll see it says out of range, and you'll also notice your elevations remain the same. If I were in the range, it would tell me here what model is being applied, and I would see a different ellipsoid and a different local elevation. When you're in the field, you always want to check this. If your ellipsoid and your local are not different, then you do not have the proper geoid model applied. Well, I hope this helps on understanding why and how to apply a geoid model in Carlson. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us.